<sighs> Thank God. A lot of you have asked me to do an editing tutorial or like some kind of video where I explain how I do what I do. And I've been kind of resistant to that because, I don't know, there's like so many tutorials out on the internet and a magician never reveals her secrets. And like, I haven't really been in the mood, but today I got in the mood. So this is gonna be a really moody, sexy masterclass in editing. First, you have to set the mood. You have to get into the zone. You have to get completely comfortable and then light a candle and lock in because you can only see what you're capable of in the edit if you're willing to sit there for a really long time. So right now I'm editing the trailer for In Reality and it's very close to the final cut. So I'm just gonna take some notes that I had from the team and implement them now. So I edited in Premiere. I switched over from Final Cut when that whole shit happened, and I've never looked back. I'm admittedly a messy editor, but then I eventually will reduce this all down and make it clean, but like these are just ideas that I'm trying out and seeing what works and what doesn't. This is the way that I set up my project. I do media, which will include audio. And so this is VO, and this is the mix files for the movie. And then we go to sequences. These are the new sequences for this trailer. Basically, every time I make a big change to the sequence or it's a new day, I will make a new sequence so that I can always go back. Sometimes you have to do your work over. Get used to that, it's going to happen. Sometimes the system crashes and you just can't be mad. You just get this opportunity to do it again and do it more efficiently and like better. It's really important to get feedback. On your mark. Okay. Get set. Change, change your love. It works better. Cool. Is that, that's your voice again? Yeah. You did, yeah. I think it's better. It sounds a little robotic. Thoughts? It looks like a real trailer. That's crazy. And how did you get through editing an entire feature that you are in? Uh, that is a story from another time, Kevin. Okay. Then there's a point in which you need to stop receiving feedback. We are this close to finishing this trailer. It's been through 20 versions. I was pretty frustrated last night with it. And this is the final lesson that I want to share with you today on the art of editing with Anne Lupo. Yeah, I, I want these to be more like lectures, not tutorials. You can figure out hotkeys from someone else who's much more articulate and thorough. I'm more about the philosophy and the process of editing. So the last lesson that I want to share is you are going to encounter roadblocks. It's not right, but I don't know how to make it better. But I can assure you that there are always other ways. Just don't give up on your idea. So let's finish it up. I got in the mood to do like an editing tutorial the other day. Mm. Like light a candle. I l Wait, how did you know? Candles are the best. Okay, Max Joseph approves of this technique. <laughs> light a candle. Light a candle. Because it's like in a world, in a world where everything is just st static on your desk, the, the flicker of the candle like brings life and light to an otherwise inanimate, dead, cold world. Exactly. 
Also, like when you fart by yourself, the candle will <laughs> burn up the uh, I oxygen. I never the... fart when I edit. Down the line when I'm, you know, like a global internet megastar, I'll start selling branded editing candles. Like the Thelma Shoemaker. <laughs> I've often thought of like render time toys. Oh! I want to do, I want to do editor stand-up. Talking about like Bezier. Yes! The difference between like yeah. going whoop! Yeah! And then going Ooh. Yeah! Yeah, that's Should we do an editing stand-up show? I do like a good 